how to use CapCut's AI video generator. Let's get into it. Start by opening CapCut and then when you're in the home screen, click into AI Video Maker. This is going to bring you to here. Click Instant AI Video. Then you will see this window. You can choose between a bunch of different styles. You can scroll through them and choose one that suits your story. I'm going to go for Cartoon 3D. You can also choose the aspect ratio, 16 by 9 or 9 by 16. And then you can either generate a script or enter your own script. For this example, I'm going to make CapCut generate my script. It's going to be a story about a fox who wishes he could fly. Once you're finished with your prompt, you can then come down to the voices and choose from the list of available options. If you click on the headphones, it will play a sample of that voice for you to choose from. With your voice selected, you can then click into the time and choose the duration of your video. Let's go for one minute and then choose create. This is going to bring up this window. It might take a while for your video to generate. Just wait for it to generate. Once it's finished generating, you will see your video mapped out in scenes like this and you can fully customize it. In my example here, I can see CapCut hasn't used the voice that I originally chose, so I can click into the voice and come into these list of voices and choose a different voice for this video. Again, just like before, you can scroll through and then click the play on the face of the person and it will give you a preview of the voice. Select into the voice that you want to use and then choose replace for all scenes and continue and then CapCut will work its magic and change the voice across your scenes. You can make amends to the story and the visuals by clicking into either of these areas if you want to change them. And then to preview your video, you just need to click on that play button and you can start listening back to your story. If you want to change the style of the captions, come up to elements and within here, you can choose from any of these caption styles. I'm going to just select this first one. If you want to add or change the music of your video, you can click into music and then browse through the music to choose a track that suits your story. In my case, I'm not going to go with any music. And then again, you can continue to preview your video by clicking play under the video. If they can do it, why can't I? At this point, we can now do two different things. We can either export the video as it is, or if you want to do further editing, you can click into edit more. This is going to then load your project into the regular CapCut video editor. So within here, as you can see, this is a normal video editor that we are used to. We can see all of the different elements within our video on the timeline and you can edit and make changes to your video however you want to. Say for example, if I want to move the captions position of my video up, I can just do this by simply selecting all the captions like normal and then dragging the captions to where I want them to appear in my video. From here, you can continue to preview your AI generated video and that's all there is to it.